Hey guys, Young Forty Mom. Hope you guys are ready for another stash video. Um, the series that I have been doing with the pattern books that I have. That hopefully you guys can get some uh, insight on what's out there. And, and you might want to um, leave a comment below if you're interested in some more information that I'm not giving on these. Um, I've been doing these for a while now. It's been, it's been a while since I've done one. But um, I'm still unstashing, or rather showing my stash on uh, what all I have to offer. Um, I don't know why I said that, sorry. Scratch that, I'm kind of tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> anyway, uh, what you're seeing, of course, is this, my infamous um, Noah sub that I, it's now become a UFO because I have not been working on it. But anyway, to the books. I'm going to show you my Leisure Arts uh, selection. And some of these were um, from my friend and some I purchased over the years. But uh, Okay, let's get started. The first one is called Innocence. And it is so precious. Now on these, they it looks like the whole thing is maybe stitched. But it's the cat and then there's a lot of um, just half stitches kind of in between. Um, and then it comes up here where it's being covered up by a blanket. But that's the only pattern on that one and in the back it shows you the series of the different patterns that you can get um no I'm sorry I think these are let me see if these are included no no I'm sorry those are included as well so you get four patterns in one you get the innocent it's called innocence it's leaflet number four six seven from leisure arts and on the back let's see if you can see that I'm filming with my old camera. Um, there's a mirror image of a kitty looking in a pool of water. Um, there's a cat holding a kitten. Just That is just so adorable. And then there's a little kitten down here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Holding a teddy bear. But that's what that leaflet is. It's so cute. Put this over here. Okay, the next one is another cat series. It's called Cats and Flowers. Again, like I said, these are all leisure arts. I'm going to be leisure arts probably throughout the whole video. Um, it's got some faint roses, but I think these would be really nice. I mean, even if you didn't stitch it on the white, which is what they recommend, if you did it on like a cream, I think it would make the cat stand out a little bit more maybe. But um, a lot of back stitching on the roses to help make them pop out a little bit better. But again, this one also, I know this one does have three others. And they're kind of like silhouettes. But it's really interesting with the, with the white background. There's a kitten at the bottom of some flowers. And there's one looking at, it's got some daisies around it. But it's looking up at a butterfly. And then there's the more mature grown-up cat with the with the lily um, and that is again called cats and flowers and it is leaflet number three four nine next we have just fingertips leaflet four eight five by leisure arts borders for the bath um, a lot of fingertip towels I got very lucky and ended up um, I have a tub that bottom one you can see those are fingertip towels. Those are all fingertip towels. I got a really great deal many, many, many years ago and snatched them up. Um, and I usually make them for gifts or here lately I've been putting them in my giveaways as well. But quite a few. I mean, there's seashells for a bathroom. So many you know just bathrooms. But um, then we've got bath and a butterfly and a little teddy bear and the, um, the old 80s um, ribbon with the heart. Usually if there's a goose attached to it somewhere, but this one I don't think has one. Oh, there they are. I spoke too soon. <laughs> and, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten patterns with that leaflet. Okay, next we have sayings called Murphy's Law, leaflet 339. Murphy's Law and other reasons why things go wrong. And then wrong is upside down. That's kind of funny. But, uh... I'm not going to read them all to you, but anything can go wrong at will. Murphy's Law, again, that's so funny. Table of handy office excuses. To err is human, but to really foul things that requires a computer. That's funny. 
experience is something you don't get until just after you need it. But yeah, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's a bunch on the back. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, looks like 17. Uh, all designs fit standard frames with a stitch on 14 cap, but you guys, a lot of you guys like to work on different types of uh, um, linen and hardanger and that type of materials. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe argue with the fool. People might not know the difference. Oh, that's, that's good. A little smart things too. Uh, the next one is called Fresh Picked, and it does not have a number on it, but I love the detail on this. Look at that carrot. Is that not, oh, my camera's trying to focus. Oh, there we go. Yay. I just, it, they look real. They look like you just pulled them out of the garden. So cool. Um, there's some mushrooms, and then we've got, that's a pomegranate. I thought it was a tomato. Oh, no, it is a tomato. And then there's a garlic and a garlic press. Kind of looks like a pomegranate, but it's a tomato. And then over here we have um, beets. And if you guys have never tried beet greens, the top parts of them, um, they've got kind of a sweet taste to them. They are so good. I highly recommend if you've never had beet greens and you like the taste of greens, because now in the South we've got to have our greens. I'm a big collards fan. I love collard greens. I'm not a big turnip green fan, but I love collard greens and spinach. But beet greens, they are so good. All right, and then on the back, let's see, we've got some asparagus with a lemon wedge. Oh, it's got white asparagus too, neat. Um, then we've got little wild onions. It looks like uh, maybe some salt or scallions. They can be called scallions or wild onions, but they're um, little green top onions. Corn on the cob with some butter. And then we've got, looks like broccoli with some eggs and a whisk. Looks like maybe they're going to make a broccoli casserole. But Oh, and a little ladybug. There's a ladybug on every single one of these. <gasps> I just noticed that. That is so cool. Let's look at the front. Yes. It must be the signature for these patterns. How awesome is that? The designer is Heather King. But this is one of my favorites because the detail on this is just incredible and again I'm a big fan I, I mean a lot of people don't like backstitch it is tedious but when you've got colors like this the backstitch just make it pop I mean it just it really does it's so amazing so that that's one of my favorite picks uh, next we have this one does not have one either it doesn't have hmm 150 itty bitty motifs leisure arts again of course designed by Johan Hernandez you know what, uh, Yohari Hernandez? I, I'm sorry, if you're Spanish speaking and you can pronounce this, Cooler Design Studio. Please feel free, I apologize. Jora? Jora? Anyway, Hernandez. A uh, bunch of little, bitty, tiny little motifs. So cute. Again, it's color with backstitching to make it pop. Um, okay, that's some of the patterns. Those are actually extreme quick whips. This would be perfect if you wanted to create your own sampler. Like, when I make my own patterns, some of these will give you to the disclaimer. I know on my uh, pattern maker, it gives you a disclaimer that you are allowed to use for resale um, three of their uh, images up to three of their images if you're doing like a, a, a saying or a sample or something like that and then put your own designs in there but these would be really cute to do like a sayings with samplers and little I don't know birthing announcements or really cool okay this one I acquired recently actually over the past couple of years when I say recently I mean the past few years uh, just be between friends and cross stitch this is smirk Let's see, by Kyla May, www.kylamay.com, K-Y-L-A-M-A-Y.com. Um, this one's Friends is Shopping. They don't have little faces, just very cute. Let's get a close shot of that. So adorable. Um, let's see, and there's a little happy sign, and what's that, happier, because you've got a friend. 
how cute is that and then it says you're one in a million and see all they all are different except for the one it's got a different color dress it says love me not love me you love me I remember doing that as a kid y'all remember doing that as a kid taking a flower or it had to it had to be a daisy and you, you pluck it love me love me not trying to open this up and do this one handed because as you know my tripod has really really messed up oh. friendship is two skinny lattes there's that one and there's another that's a set cloth that you can decorate and then there's the little the little ornaments or you could turn them into I guess pin cushions suppose. Oops, sorry, I hit my camera. Um, and there's the book cover it's showing. And then the book bag. And then you can actually take one of the figures and make a keychain. It says lovable. This is some great ideas. Um, bag tag. You and me. It's two people. It looks like Thumb and Louise in the car. Uh, Miss Chief. Lovable. Again, uh, keychains. And then the dual um, picture frame, yeah. My best friends, that is so cool. And then, oh, there's a decorative, like a clipboard, it looks like, and then the love me, love me nots. Um, and then you, then you put that on some flowers. That is really cute. You decorate your flowers and put them on your flowers. Okay. I think the rest is patterns. It is. All right. Well, that's that's really cool. That's called Smirk. And then we have Garden Reflections. Uh, again, Leisure Arts, and they are little samplers of different garden motifs. Let's see if I can get the better shot of that. That's really cool. That's got little bird houses, and it says, "Time in my garden." And then this has different types of topiaries. And then this one is in the garden. Um, it's got a, like a little path. And then this is a garden angel. That's really cool. That looks like an older style type. But this comes from the best of For the Love of Cross Stitch. I know a lot of you like that magazine. Um, and then let's see here. We've got looks like a pair of gloves. Somebody gardening and bringing in the flowers and then this is like a little chair sitting in the garden and there's a excuse me there's a, a basket with fresh picked flowers and then there's another bundle with um, um, a little dowel mini shovel dowel and then here is a pillow that somebody made from one of the like a um, little apple tree it's really cute. Um, this is number 3701. It's on the back. Let me open it up and see if I can find. Okay. It gives more close-up pictures. Anyway, there's that one. Next we have Cross Stitch for Beginners, number 2072. Um, shows like bread basket towels and little fingertip towels and little ornaments. Um, waist canvas angel on a sweatshirt, a little, another little ornament, a little gingerbread woman. Um, easy step-by-step -step instructions, special techniques, and 18 projects. Now, even though it says it's for beginners, I tell you what, this is, this is some really, really cute stuff that, um, I think it's more than just for beginners. I think you could really go with this, but anyway, okay, um, a little Noel sampler, um, a little blanket idea, like a like Afghan, and then there's Santa pulling his sleigh himself with his goodies, and then um, another little mini sampler it's showing with a like a I can't think. Oh, I apologize. Um, a little bib um, ornament. Duh! Or a pincushion. <laughs> and there's a cat in the weeds. And that's that's really cute. But um, 
and then it comes with the alphabet where you can do like a little jewelry box or you could do a little sachet um, put smelly things and you throw it in your drawer some of you may or may not know what a sachet is but we used to put those in our drawers when we were younger to keep our our undies smelling fresh so you'd still have that laundry smell but anyway there's that one all right sweet baby memories it's got eight designs in it. There's a cute little bear. And it's got a little uh, sampler on the front with the little hands. And then you put the little birthing announcement. That is so sweet. Um, and then here's another one. It's called Welcome Baby. It's got the name. You put the name and when it was born, how much it weighed, the length, where, who the parents were. It's so cute. Let's see if I can get this open without showing you the patterns. And all the patterns in these are very colorful, very colorfully done. Um, I'll show you real quick the footprints. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, there's a little baby announcement. And then there's a little baby announcement. Lots of choices for these. Ugh, I wish I had a pod. Um, let's see. Okay, there's a little footprint birthing announcement. And you could stamp. That's what the, those feet are. That's actually not stitched. Those feet are actually ink and stamped feet of the child itself. Um, you stitch around this area and then you stamp the feet of the child on there. And so it's a, definitely a keepsake. And there's a picture frame to put a baby's picture in. And again, another one with the feet. Um, where will these little feet take you? So cute. And then the last one here, um, again with the picture frame and birthing announcement, but so cute. At my age, you don't see me, that most people are having grandbabies and, and not having babies because they're just like me too old. <laughs> just for baby, charge it for cross stitch. Here we go, leaflet number 190. Oh wow, that's got to be really old. Um, so cute, little tiny motifs. That's a little, somebody made a little quilt. Um, and here is a uh, meter chart to measure the height of your child over the years. And there's a little bassinet pillow. Um, the designs on this are by Dick Martin. Now see, that's unusual. You don't really hear that much about. Oh, and there's a little, there's a little, uh, a topper for a mason jar to keep cotton balls in. That's a good idea. And there's some little bit ornaments. Well, I was saying you don't really see very many men designers, and that that's impressive. Oh, there we go. Little box. It's not going to want to focus. Little box to put Q-tips in, and then there's a little notepad. These are some great, great ideas of different things that you can do with these patterns. I have some many more on the back. There's a little teddy bear, and there's a little skunk on a bib, and a little picture frame, baby sleeping, that's something you put on the door so people won't disturb the baby, a little bib, a little mirror, I don't know if they make those anymore, but you, I'm sure you could probably find something, a um, little tissue box holder, again another little clear um, q-tip container, and then there's a little bell pull, and there's another little cover for a mason jar keep cotton balls and stuff in. That's a nice idea. Um, cute and quick baby bibs. These are very bright and colorful. Um, again, we're still in Leisure Arts. This is uh, Linda Gillum. Cooler Design Studio. But these are so awesome. Grandma Loves Me. Say Cheese. It's got little little, little mouse and diapers. My phone is ringing. I'm going to ignore it. Uh, Leaning Tower of Peas. Uh -huh. Made in America. And then there's a... That is so cute. All right. You can tell I'm getting excited about my stash all over again because it's been so long. Ladybug and the worm. and um, I love my daddy. These are little... Looks like these are all little bibs and fingertip towels. Oh, they're bibs. They're pr little prints. Little princess. I love my mommy. So cute. Alright. That's a baby bibs. So cute. Alright, now I have three 
of these alphabet leaflets that I'm going to be putting in my program because um, I'm going to be adding more patterns to my more quote patterns to my um, Etsy shop and my program will allow me to put these in it's very painstaking the process is very long for each letter so it's got to be something that I really want to use for my font um, but yeah, so I can show you what this. This is mini series number two by Ann Van Wagner Young, leaflet number 407. These are 20 backstitch alphabets. And I like the Christmas motif there. And then they're kind of like colored, and that's the uppercase, and then there's the lowercase, and there's a little cursive. That's actually the one I have used for, oh gosh, I want to say like 10 or 15 years. When I do my signature, I put Alicia. Um, on the bottom of the ones that I give to give to people that I create and that's the alphabet I use as a crochet and then on the back oh, I think I've got a oh there yep so I've got graph paper inside there from where I was starting to create that one has hearts on it I think that would be really cool to have in my system um, and then these you can fill in whatever color you want of course with that and then there's some more. Again, the alphabets. Really beautiful. Really pretty. Okay, there's that one. And here is um, leaflet number 2816. 21 more backstitch alphabets. This one's really cool. It's, it's like kindergartner. So cool. Um, there's a taller version, I think, of the one that I used to use, uh, or that I used for my, my, um, my signature on my my works. I have used some of these before, but there's like a candy cane stripe, and then there's some more with the hearts, and um, another um, cursive. That's what I want to say, cursive. Um, uppercase cursive. And then there's those. It's really cool. I like that. Then you fill those in. Those are kind of fancy. And then your basic block letters. I think everybody knows how to do that. You don't even pattern for that one and then some of the other ones. That was really cool, kind of fat. And then, I like this, kind of Victorian. Another cursive version, and then, that's kind of cool, you could fill that in, little stripes. And then this one is called, seven is number 705, um, more backstitch alphabets, mini series number 20. So this is mini series number 20, and the other one was number was number two. There's no telling what all's in there. Um, but anyway, that's really cool. I got a great deal on this. I paid $1.25 for that at our used bookstore. You can find some of the best patterns there. Um, and there's some more little cursive. That. And this is neat. The little twirls. Little alphabets. Twirls. Little chunky monkeys there. They don't have names for them, they're just numbered inside. And that one's got graph paper in it too. Huh. What was I working on? Oh look! <laughs> a little face. I don't know what I was thinking. Cool. So here was one. Um, I was make creating. It says, sometimes I smile. Sometimes a smile is all you need. So my graph, my graph paper was really big, so I was working on the smile part and then some of the other learning yeah. ah, that's me playing around because you guys know I like to create my own patterns and there's so many out there now we used to not have this it's just blowing my mind okay we're getting into the 24 minute mark um I'm gonna cut this at 30 minutes so I don't want to go too far. Actually, my camera only tells me I've got 29 minutes available, so I've only got five minutes left on here. So I'm going to hurry. I'm going to try to get through the rest of these laser arts. I'm almost down to the bottom. This one is called Cozy Kitchen Memories. It's a sampler. I really like it. The Country Kitchen, and then it says Love Love my mother's kitchen and the way it makes me feel. The aroma of her cooking and the plants on the windowsill. It's the nicest place to visit when I need a place to rest. I love my mother's kitchen, but it's home that I love the best by Jay Lemming. Oh, 
so cool. The poem is by Jay Lemming. I'm sorry, Jill Lemming. Uh, designed by Deborah Lambian. L-A-M-B-E-I-N. But, uh, now that's not in the sampler, so I'm not sure what that is. So let me look in the back. Oh, look, there's another one. Ah, small blessings. There's something about my kitchen and the feeling in the air as my family gathers round for the supper I've prepared. It's such a happy moment as we talk about our day. There's something about my kitchen and the love that's there to stay. Oh, again, Jill Lemming. So cute. Let's see. I think those are the only two, but I don't know. Oh, okay. That is from the bottom of that. So if you didn't want to do all this, you could do just the image. You know, cut it off right there. Maybe take some of these um, little little vines and put it around it. That would be really nice. You could cut this off right here so it doesn't come down all the way. Um, just kind of play around with it. Or you could pick out different, um, like the flowers. You could pick out different motifs and put it on there instead. But anyway, so there's that one. And my last leisure arts, actually it's not my last one, it's the last one in this set that I have to show you because the other ones I have actually put with um, the theme that my daughter's room is, the oceanic theme. You guys know that if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I, I'm doing a lot of um, aquatic. I love the aquatic for my daughter, for her room. I'm Garfield, she's aquatic. I think I'm more aquatic for her room than she is. All right, this is Bookmarks Galore Leaflet 2985. There are 66 designs. I saw somebody recently on one of the um, trading groups. I can't think of the name of that Facebook group, but um, it, they had one of these to trade, and uh, I thought it was really cool. Th th this would be an ideal steal. I have bookmarks like crazy <laughs> stuffed in there. I have to show you this. I'm, I'm, I'm tickled to death with this one. Um, this is a Charles Craft bookmark. It's on 18 count. It's got the lace on it. Really cool. I got these when Walmart was having them on clearance. Oh, I want to say about maybe five or six years ago. I got them for a dollar. A dollar. It comes with a free pattern on the back and everything. But they are perfect for these. So I have all these. So I've got one, two, three, four of those. So I've got four of the, the Charles Craft 18 count bookmarks. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these um, rib band 14 count Bacilla. And then the rims are different colors like that one's yellow and pink and blue. And I got one of each. I know I got these. They've got a little free pattern on the back. It says love. I got those dirt cheap too. I tell you what, when I find a good deal, I get what I can. I stock up because you never know when you're going to find another deal like that. And um, I gift them. I create them and give them away. Um, I don't think I've ever sold any of my stuff that I've created on my Etsy channel. Um, just my patterns. But those are my designs. So, um, Or rather my creations. Not always my design. Um, but anyway, yeah. There. Yeah, tickled. Anyway, that was inside my book. But in, in, the, um, in the book itself, like I said, 66 designs. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to be gifting next year. I'll be, I'll be gifting, I'll be giving away some um, bookmarks probably for Christmas presents. or um, Let's see. Oh, here's a bunch on the back. Here's a whole flower series. And then there's... Once Upon a Time, Little Hummingbirds, The End, and here's some rainbow and sailing and uh, corner holders. Those are really cool. Let's see, there's 66 designs. I know that's not all of them, so let's see if I can... Ha ha ha. Yes, in the middle. Oh my gosh. Let's bang press that out. There we go. All right, well, there's a whole little country type theme. And then there's a couple of...
got the mouse. There you go. Get it. She knows I'm filming. On camera. Get the mouse. <laughs> she's not gonna do anything now. She knows she's being filmed. Boy, what a diva.